Hey guys, Al Spence here for Golf Coast Custom Models. I'm uh, doing a few kit reviews and uh, want to touch on something personal that we as model building community need to help a guy out. But I'll get to that uh, here in a minute. First up, the Melrose Missile. Uh, not to be mistaken for the Mopar missile. Uh, the Melrose missile, this is the 65 Hemi Superstock kit. Model King, Mobilis, whoever puts it out. Uh, great kit. Guys, I've already looked at it. Um, nice artwork. Let's start there in the box. I, I got another box I want to show you you're not going to believe. <laughs> Uh, great art, good looking pictures. It's got all the details and features. Um, the panel side shows you the Hemi, the carbs, and good layout of the decals and the paint. Now this is uh, this blue on here. Everybody uses different blues. I've kind of found that uh, there's a there's a blue. I believe Model Master has it, or Testers, I'm not sure, you have to look, but it's called Star Spangled Blue. Man, it's a beautiful color and it's really laid out. This is skill level three, as you can see. And uh, I'm familiar, it's pretty intricate. Now look at this box, I'm gonna show you the back, see, plain. So I'm gonna do this kit first. And then the next kit is I'm gonna do is the lawman, okay? Um, it's a great looking kit. It's fantastic, actually. Um, the artwork on this box, I'll get more in detail on it. I just wanna show you the difference in this. This is AMT's, which I understand is also round two. It's got some great artwork, vintage classic look few black and white shots it's got your part breakdown here shows your special racing parts and such very cool and then on the back of the box the bottom look you're seeing it boy did they put it out on this one fellas very nice a lot of details on it uh, more pictures better close-up shots etc really something so I'm gonna do that one next, if I quit bumping the camera. So, the Melrose Missile. I'm familiar with this cat. I seen him race back in the day, uh, late 60s, early 70s with my pop. I'll let my lid over here where I can hang tight to it. This body, boo, oh, it's fantastic. Just as nice as the Lawman's, the, the Belvedere, the Plymouth. This, uh, this Plymouth, there's 64 and a 65. There's really, really no difference that I've seen. So, uh, the badging up here, a few little things like that up here in the front. But, there's virtually no seams. I can't hardly find a seam on this body anywhere. And it's clean. I mean, exceptionally, there's no hardly... Usually you get flash, like up here where they pull it out of the mold. And mold release lines usually are running down around the pillars back here and up on the fenders. I don't even think you have to touch this. Personal. Okay, the slicks. The, these rubber slicks are nice, guys. I mean, when these get scuffed up, they're going to look great. They're really nice. They're rubbery. They're... I can't explain it. They're above and beyond the other tires I've seen in here. Now, I don't have any of these packs open, so we'll just have to kind of... There's your glass. Uh, it's got side markers, uh, the nice big bubbled headlights like it had. It's got your wing windows, and it's got full side windows. So you'll be able to put the class running logos on here and uh, super stock class. So that's a good thing. I'm going to pile these back in this box. You got your other cage. This has got your exhaust system in it. This pack only has stock exhaust, cross members over, and then some killer looking headers. These headers are neat looking guys. I, I really like them. 
I don't know, I, I wish I cast, because if I did, I'd be casting me a few pairs of these. Um, wheel backs and wheels. These are those ones that fit snug in them hollow rims. Very nice. These are your steel rims. This is actually, he ran these on the early version. A year or so later, he switched over to, some, I think, the Thor's, Thork rims or something like that. How do you pronounce it? Torque. And it's a nice feature. The hood comes cut out for the for your hood scoop. Very nice. Brakes got calipers and stuff on it. Looks like it's got your uh, brake shoes even molded in it. This is the retooling. The firewall, exceptionally nice. I know that's been retooled. There's there's subtle things, but they're there. They've really worked on it. I, I give them hats off. The chrome. It's clean. It's bright. It's shiny. It's got the same wheel set up. Here's your torque rims. Now these, if you're into it, you can paint these inner inner wheels. The um, the five spokes, like a grayish flat aluminum color, is actually how it looked. They, it'll look really nice like that. It's got your Hemi valve covers. Uh, some chrome trim around the headlights and basils and such. I see a tachometer in here, your gear shifter's on here. So nice chrome. It's all, all the way through and even on the back, it's not shady looking like some of them have been. Here's your motor. Now all the motor parts are in this bag, it looks like, along with the seating. It's got the classic big bucket, bucket seats in the front. Super stock seats. They're mounted on pedestals the way they should be. Um, the motor's on here, the big Hemi. It's got your quarter back here. You can put this in instead of the rear seat, the way the super stock would have ran. There's your hood scoop. So, good looking parts pack. I hope I'm not real too close. Let me back this off just a hair. Okay. Uh, over here's your heads. Um, Looks like the carburetors are on here too. Pretty detailed looking. They got the floats and barrels on them and stuff. That's kind of neat. So there's your most of your engine parts and such. Here's what I wanted to see. Yes. Okay, here's your rear end suspension. Um, this does not have the rear end molded in it. And nor are the exhaust pipes. I hate that more than anything. It's got a semi high rise manifold. That's cool save a guy a lot of work door panels are in here and I can tell you right now these door panels are nice they got big nice standout handles uh, the latch openers on it and I don't know if you can see this man I'm gonna pop this open guys I just seen something I haven't seen on very few kits I'm gonna yank this out you got to see this look be careful look can you see let me zoom Look, they got the door locks molded onto the door panel. See what I'm saying about the doorknobs and latches and everything are stand out real good. But it's got it's got the push down locks on it. I haven't seen that forever. That's been a long time since I've seen a kit that they put that on. Um, again, retooling. So um, here's the front A-frame. Uh, your rack of pinion, whatever. Not racket penny, I'm sorry guys. Standard suspension. A arms, upper and lowers. Here, your brake and gas with the uh, clutch, so that's nice. And there's your rear end. One piece. So that's cool. Ah oh, man, I love the door locks. That's a nice touch. Lois, you guys, you got me on that one. That just... Look. That literally threw my hair back. Um, I was going to try to see if I could snap a picture. I don't think I can. Okay. Um, then we got our paperwork. Here's the instructions. I heard about this. A buddy of mine told me. Look, it's like a booklet catalog. Um, let me pull out. Nice artwork. Uh, it's got your important decal application, etc. How to clean your parts. And then as you open it up, it's laid out in sections, guys. Look. 
it's it's neat you can fold this over and under and stuff so you can look at it and and it's really detailed they blowed everything up um everything's numbered big and clean and nice you can read it it's got your paint chart on it how you, what you, we, you know the trim side panel uh, 53 it says part number and then it's got notes right on it. it tells you how to paint it highlight it and it's got color graph pictures on the back how it should look when you get her to where the garlic when he ran it that's very neat here's your suggested paint colors all the way down through even it's telling you about primering it or if you want to use flocking it tells you to paint the battery caps now that's getting detailed they did a bang up job on this one very nice kit again this is this is the melrose missile uh, 65 65 plymouth i'm pretty sure yeah absolutely and here's the decal sheet very nice decal sheet look at them clean they aren't open i'm not gonna open them guys take my word they're nice um i'm gonna pull the camera back on this next one it's got your afx your class number the Melmo missile with flames coming off of it in the front looks like a little rocket yeah they nailed these decals doing them stripes like that saves a guy a lot of headache so anyways there you go fellas that's the melrose missile any questions let me know pop them off hit me up um what i was talking about before on the start of this video is we got to help a friend i am helping him anybody's welcome to jump in and help it's gary rudy or gary ruby r-u-b-y guys <clears throat> Gary's got to have, I don't know what you call it. It's more than triple bypass. They got to do all four of his valves and something else. I can't recall what he said. It came up lately. Well, anybody that knows Gary, he's self-employed. He works for himself. He got another job, but his insurance is not the best. And he runs his own shop. So, self-insured... He had to come up with a heck of a copay. And Gary's a proud man. I had to drag it out of his wife, Lisa. He's probably gonna get mad when he finds out I I, I know, but guys, we gotta I'm gonna run some raffles. You can donate. You can just outright donate five bucks. You know, five bucks nowadays is a is a loaf of bread. I mean you can't buy a loaf of bread and a pack of cheese for five bucks anymore. And I know, I know with his, his adult daughter lives with him and his granddaughter along with his wife. Now this guy's not gonna have a check. There's, she don't qualify for help. And his wife went up, or his daughter went up, I guess. And it's like seven or eight weeks out before they got he's got to wait 10 days then he's got to wait the five day waiting period and then she's got to go up and do it file it all and you know before that and they're gonna give him a handful of food stamps or some crap the guy's too proud for that i'm telling you um i'm just trying to get money together for him and his family for groceries you know the baby's diapers baby food stuff like that and gary's gonna need some nutritional food and stuff when he gets out i mean he's he thinks he's going back to work probably four or five weeks the doctor's all right it's seven weeks before that cat's gonna be able to do anything so i'm gonna type in and put in a uh lisa's paypal she has a paypal i'm gonna do some facebook auctions uh, Jim Panetti and a couple other guys up on Facebook is maybe gonna do a benefit up there for auctions. Donate kits. They auction them. Gary and the family gets all the money. Donate on here. Hit me up. Send me a money order. Send me cash. Whatever. I promise as God is my witness. Every single penny's going in. And uh, I'll challenge anybody. I got a first hundred dollars going into this if anybody wants to match me or challenge it i'm not going to do a build off we're not going to have a we can do a gary ruby benefit later uh an honorary model car build off thing for him 
but by God, they're gonna need money quick. His surgery's Friday. He'll be home. I'm sure the first week or so he's gonna be fine. But I'm hoping in three weeks or so we got some money together for him. So, anyways, let me know. Her uh, email, her PayPal is uh, Lisa Ruby at bellsouth.net. You know, if you just want to go on PayPal and send them some money, by all means, do it. You know, it, it, you know, if you want to let me know and I give you recognition, we sure will. I, I do what I can. But uh, let me off here now. I'm going to drop it right now. I'll do another video. I'm going to mention a few other things. But uh, let's try to help Gary out. You guys, he's a good guy. He does a lot for people. He randomly sends stuff to people if you need it. He'll send kits to people, and um, I'm gonna get with Chevy Cheeseburger and see if he'll uh, he'll spread this word too, because I only got so many followers. But feel free to share this. Feel free, you know, help. Let's let's help our brother modeler out, because you know I lost a home, two cars, and all kinds of stuff when I had cancer, and I was they didn't I wasn't on the internet. They didn't have it. It was just in its infancy. And uh, boy, we lost everything. It was hard. So I'd sure hate to see this happen to a friend. And by God, for any of you all out there that ever needed a hand, you needed help. If anybody asks me, I'll help you. You know, if somebody else needs it, I'll do it. Just, I don't know, it's terrible. But I'm just trying to help the guy out. Anyways, stay tuned. Check out my next video. We're going to do the Lawman review. You guys don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss the box, let alone the contents, I guarantee it. So I'll holler at you in a little bit. And uh, again, Alan Spence for Golf Coast Custom Models. And uh, let's let's help a brother modeler out. Let's help Gary Ruby out, you know? Just let me know, and uh, I'll let you know how we can do it or where to go, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. See you in a little bit in the next video. Check out the lawman. Bye-bye.